Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 15th, 2023. Well, holy moly, yesterday we decided that the CPI inflation rising and that the PPI inflation rising was a reason to buy. Now, of course, there was some good news out there. The retail sales numbers came in a little bit better than expected, but I would have never guessed that we would uh, we would just absolutely ignore um, a rising inflation situation and rally. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Well, on this Friday, we have an interesting setup here in the market. First off, all of our indexes got back above their 50-day moving average. The diamonds just blew through this resistance uh, downtrend here in the chart, pushing up so we broke that downtrend. And if you'll notice, I turned this line green because we now held that as support and proved follow through to the upside. So that turned green here in the chart. We're still holding onto this upside trend as well. Now the question is, after we've pushed through this area, are we going to prove to be able to hold above that area as support? Um, we'll want to watch this price resistance level in here if the bulls continue to find that inspiration see if they can push through that level right there if that breaks and we push on higher then the next level that i see up here that could be fairly substantial is right in that area a little bit of resistance and a lot of congestion right in this area to see if we can push on higher there now, if the bears were to find inspiration today and say we can't follow through here today, and I don't know if that's going to be a high possibility or not uh, with the data that we have coming, but we will want to be paying attention to it. If we were to pull back, then what we need to see is that we can hold maybe some of these little candles in here as price support and hold on to that downtrend break as a support. And then we would look for that next opportunity to the upside. What we probably don't want to see here if you're a bull is we don't want to see this breaking back down into this range in the chart. That could maybe be a little bit of trouble and could even then give us another lower high here in the market that we'll have to consider uh, for another possible downtrend area in the chart. So um, diamonds looking good here all of a sudden and uh, we seem to have no concern whatsoever about inflation if we take a look at our spy spy a little bit more complication here in the spy we did rally up nicely as you can see breaking um, through this little resistance area in the chart but you'll notice all we did was come up here into this downtrend area and we did respect that downtrend area as of yesterday and um, if you'll take right here um, our pre-market candle has been really wild here this morning I don't know what's going on here it could be uh, part of the fact that we've got a quadruple witching a day we're probably going to see a lot of um, wild gyrations as institutions and everyone reposition uh, for the next uh, month and next quarter but watch that close um, if the bulls can continue to find inspiration today then what I would suggest is that we look for a break of this trend uh, downtrend here in the chart and if that were to break then maybe we push on up here you can see there's a little bit of price resistance right through here where we catch these bottoms and these tops maybe up in here here, there's a little bit more price resistance if that breaks then we're up here testing this high right in that area of the chart if the bears were to find inspiration today well then my suggestion would probably be that we would come back into this um, stay here in this um, area of the chart notice we got a little bit there's three candles right there that could maybe hold a little price support it's pretty weak but possibility that it could hold there um, along this upside trend if that were to fail 
then I would suggest we're probably coming down into the lower side of those candles and then even down into this next level if they were to fail. If we take a look at our QQQ, um, QQQ did a good job. In fact, Big Tech did a really good job yesterday. We'll look at some of that maybe in just a bit. But as you can see, pushing up here in the chart, I need to also turn this line to green just simply because we did prove to hold this level of price support and found a, a way to break through. We haven't quite made a new high here, so um, it might be just a little premature to um, to turn that green. But at the moment, we're seeing a lot of bullishness here, so let's see if we can push on through. QQQ, breaking through this resistance right in here will be important if those bulls continue to find inspiration today in the data. If we can push a little bit higher than we we'll might be looking at trying to break out of this downtrend. If that were to break, then we're going to push right on up into here, maybe test this last high um, in um, the QQQ and see if we can bust through that area. As you can see, we did break this um, upside wedge or downside wedge here earlier on and um, then just completely reverse right back up. So if the bears were to find inspiration in here and we were to fall, then the only place we really have to go is if we break down in here is right back down to this level of the chart to see if we can hold. And if that were to uh, fracture, then I would look probably down into that area of the chart. Let's take a look at our IWM. Interestingly, IWM had a pretty good pop here off of its 200 day moving average, bounced up nicely here on the day. But I got to tell you, it wasn't all that impressive because what we did is we pushed up in here and we uh, just tested that resistance in the chart right there and didn't quite have enough energy to push on through. This morning, we might be able to push on through there if the data is good and uh, provides those bulls some inspiration. So breaking that would be the first area of the chart if the bulls continue to push. And then if they can bust through that area, then I would look for a move up into here, see if we can test that downtrend and this uh, fairly substantial resistance level in the chart. This rally back really does potentially set up a pretty good opportunity to watch for that next potential short in the chart. Now, saying that, we also have this um, bullish W pattern, this W bottom or a double bottom, as you can see, that held the 200 day. So it is possible that we find enough inspiration here in the market that we break this through up here and turn into a bullish pattern. But remember, always wait for the higher low um, on that because we can rush up there into those uh, uh, areas just like we did here and then completely reverse. So wait for that higher low in that chart to develop. If the bears were to find inspiration here in the market, well, I think the only place we've got is to come back down here retest that 200 day moving average and if that were to give up we're probably coming a little bit lower test some of these lows and then we'll start looking uh, for progressive breakdown um, in that if that were to occur let's take a look at our VIX this has been something that has been truly remarkable for me with with the data that we see out out here, all of the uncertainties that we're dealing with in the market, potential government shutdown, UAW now going on strike at all three major plants in Detroit. Um, we've got a, a possible impeachment thing going on with the president. We've got um, um, all kinds of geopolitical issues going on in the world. And we just don't care. Um, despite the inflation, we're, we're just ignoring quite a few things in the market. But that said, looking at the VIX, you can see that we broke this support. So we've made um, an, a new break here in the VIX, dropping down into 12 handles here. Um, this is commonly referred to as a um, uh, complacency zone of the market. Right now, the bears have uh, no teeth and the bulls have absolutely no fear here uh, for some reason. So uh, keep an eye on that. This is our downtrend now in the, the VIX. 
So we're not going to have any worries here in this unless that breaks to the upside and holds a higher low. So right now the bears have all the proving to do here in the VIX. If we take a look at our T2122, well, we had a good move in T2122 yesterday. The Dow at one point was up uh, approaching, uh, 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 I can't even remember now. It was just, uh, it was just buy all day in, um, uh, in the diamonds. And as you can see, pushing up here um, in the chart, we moved big time here from all the way down here, all the way up here yesterday. So if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration, and right now while I'm looking at Dow futures potentially gapping um, 94 points. So that could put us right back up here in the bearish reversal zone on the chart if we can continue to push uh, through to that upside. So watch that carefully. Once again, what we did yesterday with this all or nothing market is if the bears find reason for inspiration, well then of course we've opened a pretty substantial downside move as well. Remember, T2122, the four week new high, new low ro uh, ratio does not give us the direction. It just tells us when we reach those big points of congestion um, in the market, when we've kind of overdone it and when we, uh, uh, to the upside or downside. Let's take a look at our uh, T2108. T2108, oops. T2108 is the percentage of stocks above their 40 day moving average. So we had that big move up yesterday, and this did come up nicely. We held this price support in here. But I have to tell you, for the big moves that we saw in the market, I would expect it a little bit more here, to be honest. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, we did come up. We're testing this resistance level here in the chart, trying to pop into that area. Um, 35, about 36% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. So that is a nice improvement. We still have this uh, downtrend area here that we need to think about. And of course, uh, plenty more resistance levels above if we can continue to push to the upside. If you're a bull, that's what you want to see. You want to see us breaking through into those new levels of uh, the chart. If you're a bear, what you want to see is this reverse somewhere in here and breaking back down. If we take a look at T2107, uh, T2107 also kicked up here yesterday, but again, not all that impressive. 46% um, of the stocks above their 200-day moving average in that move. The good news is, is we held this support in here, and you got to give that to the bulls. Um, uh, and watch that carefully here as we progress in this pattern to see whether or not this head and shoulders pattern will play out. I, I you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but a nice push to the upside, any additional push up here, we might break that downtrend, break through that head and shoulders pattern, test, whoops, test some of these resistance areas in the chart up into here um, is certainly possible if the bulls can continue to push. Bears start pushing back, then we may have that situation occur. Let's take a look at our T2101. This is the one that is kind of a head scratcher. Um, on that big surge to the upside, what did we see in market breadth yesterday? Market breadth declined, um, which makes me believe that um, it is on shaky, a shaky foundation here as that breadth declines on that upside move. So keep that in mind. I would continue to watch, as I mentioned yesterday, which turned out to be pretty right, um, certainly in the morning, watch for whipsaws. Don't just jump in first thing in the morning. Watch for whipsaws, and boy, we sure did get those first thing yesterday. So watch this carefully um, as that if that breadth continues to weaken on this buy wave, that's typically not a good sign for um, strong follow through. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar, as I said, we've got quite a little bit of data coming our way this morning. We got Empire State Manufacturing. That is expected to improve just slightly, but still be a negative number. 
import export prices um, here let me slide that over and we'll just take a quick look as you can see import export prices looking for little tiny declines here on those headline numbers so watch that close industrial production will be interesting probably the most notable of the day this is looking for a pretty substantial decline from a 1.0 to 0.1 to a point from a 0.5 to 0.1, but capacity utilization staying the same is what consensus is suggesting. So keep an eye on that. And then of course, we've got consumer sentiment and they are expecting consumer sentiment to decline. So um, remember, we're a consumer-based economy and the consumers are very strapped right now. So watch that closely. Um, as we look into the earnings calendar, there's nothing, um, and nothing at all to uh, be concerned about on the earnings calendar. There are only two verified reports. One of them have already reported LITB, a um, dollar thirty stock um, trades very low volume here, and um, HYW um, is the only um, other. Um, reporting today and not particularly notable at all. Uh, very low on the volume scale. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is um, the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button or cl click the subscribe button. And then um, if you want to continue to be notified of these videos, make sure you click that bell icon when it pops up. Then if you feel that the video was worthy and deserves it, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. And thank you. Yesterday, I, I mentioned something to the fact, you know, a lot of people not um, n not responding to the video. Um, a, a large number did yesterday. Thank you. You guys humble me. Um, every day. I, I truly appreciate that. Um, thanks for all the effort that helps the channel to continue to grow. Let's take a peek at some of these charts that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. In fact, there's some things in the market that just, oh, oh my gosh, we just um, just suddenly um, turn on a dime in so many of these stocks. So be really, really careful here. There is um, uh, quite a bit of danger in the market. Make sure you're following your risk tolerances and never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. You know, at what I was just suggesting there, um, I was looking at this trade in Visa. Uh, take a look at that. We popped through this alert in Visa, the next day gap lower and really uh, moved to the downside. So there's a lot of danger in this market of these big swings, a lot of emotional trading going on. So uh, like I said, do not blindly follow these trade ideas and just say, hey, uh, uh, you know, Campbell says this is a good trade. I got to do something with it. No, follow your trade rules and your trade guidance because I don't know what the future is just like anyone else. And here is a big surprise. We had a very, very bullish chart and it's unraveled so quickly um, here. Pretty dangerous. Let's take a look at some of those big winners yes yesterday. Um, Google, um, well, for Pete's sake, Google had a great day yesterday, breaking through resistance in the chart. We've been consolidating out here to trend. This is a textbook perfect pattern. Slid, consolidated out to trend, found those buyers, pushed on through. New highs here in Google looking good. No reason to believe that can't continue on higher. We saw um, Tesla had a good day yesterday, pushing on through to the upside. You'll notice if I draw this trend out here, it may need to fade back a little bit um, to hold on or test that trend before it moves on higher. But Tesla looking very good here in the market. We saw some nice moves. Um, Microsoft pushing on up. It is really choppy in this upside move. You can see in here, it's like we're struggling a lot. A lot of back and forth, a lot of swinging around. As this continues to push up, you'll want to watch that resistance area in the chart right in there. But it is doing nice in that comeback here in the chart. So a lot of tech made some pretty good moves yesterday. We saw Meta moving, um, whoops. 
We saw Meta moving up nicely, breaking through some resistance here in the chart, really pushing on up following that upside trend. So big tech, it, it really doesn't matter um, what those valuations are, people still want to buy them. Um, NVIDIA um, ended up struggling just a little bit, popped up, ended up making a higher, um, a higher close, but just, just well, that's not true. Uh, looks like we closed down six cents. But holding in there on that chart on NVIDIA, uh, big tech doing a pretty good job. Boy, the places that I got to tell you are just a remarkable is um, in uranium. Take a look at CCJ gapping on higher this morning and a little pop and drop going on. This thing from this alert has just been a monster run. If anyone got into that trade, congratulations. I would be watching. Uh, I would be probably thinking about taking some profits and getting out of the way. This is bound to pull back here soon, but watch that closely. Um, anything in the uranium area has been unbelievably strong, pushing through resistance levels and just stretching to the upside here, looking good um, on the uranium side of things. We even saw some interesting things yesterday where this U.S. Steel found some buyers in here. Keep an eye on this. This has been resting a long time after um, rejecting that deal from Cleveland Cliffs to buy them you can see trying to hold up in this pattern um, I might watch for the next upside move which seems really odd to me considering that the dollar continues to strengthen um, get the right the dollar continues to strengthen very much um, moving up as a matter of fact we even see bond yields going higher so watching the market go up as our bond yields our inversion continues to expand and and the dollar getting stronger just doesn't make any sense to me but there it is it's happening right in front of our eyes so watch that carefully as the dollar continues to expand we're even seeing things like commodities moving up even uh, like cleveland cliffs uh, made a nice pop yesterday i saw silver popping up um, yesterday off of this low and now it's gapping higher this morning um, as the dollar goes up and bonds expand. Isn't that something? Um, remarkable. Um, uh, gold doing the same thing. It's just like everyone decided yesterday was a good day to buy everything and uh, they did that in a pretty big way. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I keep watching this Telray. Telray is doing a really good job of this resting consolidation in here, holding in this pattern. If we hold this price support, I would watch for that next opportunity to the upside here. Taking a look at, take a look at some of the retailers out there. TJ Maxx, oh my goodness. TJ Maxx gapping on higher here this morning. Extremely strong. This is one of the few um, retailers just really hitting it out of the park. Um, a very, very strong here. Um, Walmart is another hitting it out of the park, just smoking to the upside. Their last earnings report, they didn't do very well in a lot of areas except for grocery. And as the consumers get tighter and tighter and tighter um, on their spending, um, Walmart could benefit from that because folks will go for those cheaper prices here in the market. Another place on the big tech side, uh, you might want to uh, keep an eye there on Amazon. Amazon breaking through this resistance in here, nice moves. We're trying to pop through some of these levels here in the chart. Any rest or pullback in here that comes back to trend would set up that next opportunity to the upside. And then of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about oil. Um, oh my goodness, um, let's look at XLE. XLE just ripping to the upside. And you can see all of the components here of XLE, if I pull up a list, just hotter than all get out. Uh, Fang, um, just an unlimited um, uh, target rich environment on the oil sector for long trades just really hot if we um, if if we look at into um, Halliburton really really so strong if we look into oil and gas exploration ETF XOP and then once again pull up the list very strong uh, moves coming into this oil and gas exploration lots of potential upside bullish trades in there now this is a double-edged sword and again it's it's odd to see with the dollar strengthening so much oil going up like this but remember every time oil goes up it creates higher prices for everything because it it, it costs more to produce the 
the products, it costs more to package the products, it costs more to ship the products, and all of those prices go up at our stores. So remember, as we continue to see oil and gas zooming to the upside, just realize that has an inflationary impact. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the kind support of the channel. I, I appreciate it. I want to wish you all a very profitable day and a wonderful weekend. See you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the very, very best. Take care.